On Saturday afternoon, Scobie will be making its first appearance in the eight-man football state championship game since 2002, when the oldest of this year's senior class was still crawling around in diapers. Though it's the first state championship game appearance for these Spartan seniors, they have plenty of big game experience that's prepared them for this moment. I never thought my first <clears throat> state championship would be in football. Getting to play in state championships, huge. I mean, and just playing in big games is that's what you want to play sports. That's why you want to play sports. Playing in big games is huge, and that's how you leave a legacy is winning big games. So this doesn't bother them. You know, they they know what it's like and they know how to deal with it. And, and I, I think our kids are pretty pretty relaxed going into this. I mean, it's don't get me wrong, it's going to be a it's going to be a battle, but uh, I don't think we're going to be tight. Like, you know, like, oh, let's get this done. And I think we just we just want to go play and, and see how good we are. SCOBY, the eight-man East champion, will certainly have its hands full with eight-man West champion Drummond Phillipsburg. The Titans are led by Montana State commit Cade Cutler, who is among the most dynamic athletes in Montana regardless of class. Cutler alone presents a handful of challenges, but the Titan offense is by no means a one-man show. It's daunting pass. They're good. I mean, they're, re they're really well coached. They're really athletic. Uh, Cade Cutler is really good. He's got really good players around him. It's not just him. So uh, he does a lot of things really well. I mean, he runs their uh, their beer offense very well. I just you can tell he's been doing it for a long time, and and you, know, you don't see him make any bad reads. And when he's running with the ball, he's 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 tough to get down. He's he's really athletic and explosive. And I can see why Montana State offered him. I mean. I'm a cat fan. I'm happy for the cats. Not happy for us, but happy for the cat right now. And he's uh, he's something special. But it's not just him. You know, he's got a, he's got a great cast around. He's got a good running back, and his linemen really get after him. You know, they're not the biggest guys, but they are fundamentally sound and they're aggressive and and uh, they're just they're just a well-oiled machine right now. While Cutler headlines a talented Titans roster, Scobie has its own lethal weapon at quarterback in senior Jace Tandy. Tandy's two favorite targets, Handran and Parker Cromwell, have been playing together for years and have developed such strong connections that sometimes communication isn't needed. Tandy takes the snap. He's looking to pass. He's going to throw one deep to Handran. Handran goes up for it, Why and he not? catches it. Why not? Touchdown pass. The Tandy to Handran connection just keeps on happening. It's been really nice having Caden come back. He's 6'5". It's easy to get him the ball. <laughs> Me and Parker have played all four years together, so we just kind of know what we're doing together and makes it a lot easier because we just have played with each other since we are fifth graders and our chemistry is just really good this year. We'll see something on the field and we'll have, call, we'll have a call for a route to run and I'll just run a complete different route and you'd think that'd mess with the quarterback but I was somehow get the ball and he said I won't even run the route that's called and I'll just see something and you'd think that would lead to a pick or a ball thrown not even close to where I'm at but it works out. 2018 was the first year of a neutral site state championship game in eight-man football, but it's reverted back to host schools in this pandemic altered year. That means Scobie will make the near 500-mile trek over the span of three days, with stops on Thursday in Great Falls and Friday in Butte, where the Spartans will practice at Tech. The long trip won't stop the Spartan faithful from following. Yeah, we have all of our tickets sold, and everyone's still trying to find tickets. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I think we, I think we always travel well, going to state basketball, all the way in Missoula. And um, I think this will be the same thing. We'll have we'll have just as many people as German since we get the same last tickets, I think. There's a lot of people that would want to be in the spot that we are at, so we just want to make the most of the opportunity, enjoy it, and, and uh, just play well. You know, don't Let's not focus on winning. Let's just worry about us playing well and, and let the chips fall where they may. I'd rather be on a bus than collecting gear, so... Kickoff is slated for Saturday at 1 o'clock in Drummond. Since Scobie won that title in 2002, Drummond won five titles before combining with Phillipsburg to win two more in 2017 and 2018. For MTN Sports, I'm Alec Boffinger.